Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we've got the sponsor Expola for their outdoor solar security light, which is rated at IP66. Now it looks like a very good realistic fake security camera, which is fully adjustable and also has a fake infrared light as well. It's got eight bright LEDs built into it. It's fully adjustable solar panel and it's got motion sensors, so it turns on uh, within a range of about 20 foot and about 120 degrees angle from the sensor. So it should pick up all motion. And then when it does turn on, it lights up very bright for 20 seconds. It will then dim the lights for one minute. And then after that, when there's no motion, it will stop and go back to infrared mode or fake infrared mode. It is a brilliant, brilliant idea. And I really, really like it. So let's get on with the unboxing and see how it actually looks. So we've got the mounting hardware for it, which is a fully adjustable ball joint. So that's going to give a nice lot of range of motion. Three screw holes, three wall plugs and three screws. The camera and solar panel itself. And again, you've got an adjustment over here. So you can adjust the pitch of the solar panel so you can get that into as many places as possible. On the back, you've got your on off switch. It needs about eight hours charge before it can be used fully at night. Um, so obviously weather conditions will vary it, but there is actually some weight to this. So I don't know if the batteries are in the solar panel part or in the camera module, but the, the balance point is actually somewhere around, around there. So both parts are quite heavy. So there might be a battery in there and there. I haven't taken it apart. I'm not going to because I don't want to break this one. I want to keep this. Um, we've got, there we've got our eight lights and just over there, you've got the infrared um, LED fakery, but that's a really nice idea. Obviously in the center is going to be your PI our motion sensor. It's a lovely looking bit of kit. It's a nice big solar panel. I'm liking this. Got your instruction manual, warranty card, and that's it. So what we'll do, so what we'll do is we'll go outside and mount this. Now looking at what they've got here, it's a shame they didn't provide a mounting template on that. Um, other products we've had in the past actually came with a little sticky label. You put that on and you just drill straight through the label. If they did that with this, I'd have loved that. That would have made this so nice and simple because you wouldn't even need to line it up properly unless you were um, pernickety about how your screws looked, which would be behind the camera anyway. But you put that anywhere on the wall and adjust it. So just having the template would have made this a very, very, very quick install. But it's still gonna be easy enough, but just one extra step I've gotta take. Well, we'll pop outside and mount it on the wall. Okay, before we want to mount this, we want to find a nice flat surface to put it on and obviously clean your surface before you do put it on and remove any obstacles because now we're gonna have a nice light up here. We can take this cheaper one away and put our very nice security light up. So then get your bracket and you want to find exactly where you want it. So we're going to want it in the center. So we're going to have to measure this to get it accurate. I'll do that off camera because up on the stairs whilst doing this won't be so safe. Then get yourself a gas powered chalk marker and you can just put it in the holes and give it a good squirt. And then it will show you exactly where to do that. But I'm just going to quickly get go off camera and measure up so I get it dead center. Okay, now we've marked our location of where you want to put it. We get your impact driver because we're just going to go straight into wood. And so you can use a PH2 uh, posi bit and then just screw it straight in simply because we're going into wood. If we're going into brick, we'd have to use a masonry uh, tool, um, something like a masonry SDS bit with a masonry drill. And then you'd have to use your wall plugs that they provide. So just line it back up to where we know we wanted it and just start drilling it in. All 
Obviously don't over tighten it because we are going onto plastic, so you might want to finish it off with a screwdriver if you're not too sure. Now I've got that to where you want, get the unit itself. Before you mount it, obviously test it, make sure it works the night before or in a very dark room after you've charged it. I've already tested it so I know it's working. Screw that on. And then adjust the angle with the ball joint at the back to where you want it. We want it aiming down and straight, so get it to there. And then do the back one up and that will then pull that in nice and tight. And then adjust your solar panel so it faces the sun as best as possible. And then just snug that up and then do the thumb screw up at the back as well onto the camera to make sure that's tight. And you're done. We'll come back at night uh, when it's dark so we can see it functioning at night. Okay, we've just got dark enough for the motion sensor light to become active with the sun going down. And so the solar panel is no longer detecting the light from the sun, but it's still dusk. So there's still some ambient natural light around, but we can see that the infrared sensor light is flashing to indicate that it's a camera although do remember it's only just dummy it does give a very very good effect and now we'll walk up to it and you can see how it will interact so really bright light comes on really well it, you don't want to look directly at it that is quite bright okay and it's just uh, been about 20 seconds and the light's now dimmed which is actually still giving a good amount of light but obviously that's going to save some battery and it just allows a bit more authenticity to it, I believe. And it's just been about a minute and then the dimmed light goes off and we go back on to sense mode where it looks like it's got a infrared sensor. It's just getting a bit darker so you can see more of the effect of the light. As you can see, the light isn't on and it's just in sense mode, which looks really, really effective. I do like that. And I'll just walk in front of it and we can see it activate. So yeah, as soon as I step onto the property boundary, I've got that aimed absolutely perfect. It really likes the floor. And not only is it good because it's a nice deterrent, but with our video doorbell, we now have our subject fully lit before the doorbell light lights. And then as we approach the door, that will light as well. So it's an extra source of light to improve any actual real cameras you might have. This is brilliant. And with me, when I get home on the motorbike at night, especially in the winter, come up onto the drive, have an automatic light, makes it a lot easier for me. We used to have a security camera with a built-in light that lasted a couple of years, and that's quite expensive and unfortunately died on us. So although it's a dummy camera, it's a very, very good replacement. And for the price, you definitely can't go wrong. This is brilliant. Yeah. Lovely sensing. And there we have it with the light dimmed, looking out from the house. Yep, it's, I've got it aimed perfectly, really happy. Well, if you did find this video helpful and interesting, please do remember to give it a good like, thumbs up, comment, and always subscribe. Now, we're really getting close to our 1K count and all of you are really helping us get there. We really do appreciate it. And the comments we're getting are great. I love the interaction. So thank you very much to everyone that has been subscribing and the interaction has been absolutely wonderful. Really do love it and appreciate it, guys. So please do keep on sharing, liking, and subscribing. Well, thank you very much for our sponsors. The reason why I've decided to stand here rather than later to the camera is that it was so bright, it was starting to distort the picture. So I thought I'd give myself a bit of a halo um, and hopefully you can then see, see me and the effect of the light. The garden lights behind us are also from a previous sponsor from Rayloom and you can get those as well in the description. I love the candle flicker lights, which are also solar powered. They look gorgeous. So thanks to Rayloom for sponsoring that part of the video as well in the past. And we look forward to working with everyone in the future. We are growing, we are getting more equipment and hopefully the quality of our videos are also improving with our experience and better equipment that we're getting. Well, thank you to everyone for all your help and support. Hope to see you again soon. Take care, and as always, bye for now. It was easy to install, 
it looks really effective as a dummy camera. Um, just any passerby, I think, yep, that's a real security camera. It looks really good, especially with Wi-Fi cameras now. The fact it hasn't got a cable or an antenna, a lot of them have them built in. Brilliant, brilliant feature. I'm really liking it.